I'm Elijah Weinstein. I'm Jefferson Motto. And this is our stats project, which is weighted GPA versus the hours of sleep per night. So to introduce this, so our survey was to determine if there was a relationship between the average hours of sleep at night and a person's weighted GPA. So we interviewed upperclassmen and underclassmen, as it says in our introduction right here. And then at the end, we compared the results of the surveys to determine if underclassmen and upperclassmen had different hours of sleep and different grades. Okay, so over here we have our test. We did a uh, two sample significance test and a two sample um, T interval. Um, you can see these are the tests. We did our state, plan, do, conclude, same thing down here. Better, oh and huh. Um, over here, some of the bivariate data that we collected, just summaries, standard deviation, um, mean, I can't really see all of it. But yeah, here's some of, we kind of displayed some of the data with some graphs. We got our histograms or scatter plots, some lines. Yeah, so the mean hours of sleep for everybody was 6.49 hours of sleep per night. And then our mean GPA was 3.31 uh, on a weighted scale. And so as we can see, we can see the difference between upperclassmen GPA and underclassmen GPA, which are roughly the same with kind of a skewed left nature. And then if we look up here, sleep, hours of sleep and GPA was roughly about the same. And most people it did not seem to affect their yeah. GPA overall. Comparing, you can see we have an R squared value or a correlation coefficient of um, essentially zero. So there's basically no relationship. Yes, and so the way we collected this data was we went to uh, different classrooms at random, and then we selected a random 10 people in each classroom. And then we gave them a slip of paper where they wrote their weighted GPA and average hours of sleep at night, as well as their grade. <clears throat> and so, uh, after concluding this, some limitations we had was were that uh, we had 73 surveys in total, but that was not an exact equal amount between upperclassmen and underclassmen. So we could have had a larger sample of both groups and have it equal. Um, to eliminate bias. Um, some other limitations that we had were um, we did it all during the same period, so there's potential that not all classes meet during that period, so we may have skipped out on maybe a living comp class or something. In the end, we have found that there was no association or little to no association between hours of sleep per night and a person's GPA. Yeah.